Man, you're lucky you didn't touch me, brother. <laughs> I would have defended myself. That would have been a flat nose. Boom, right there. <laughs> John Legato Show. I'm John Legato. Thank you very much, sir. You go that way. I'm asking you nicely to leave. Over this way. For what? You don't touch. Hey, don't touch me. Don't you touch me? Please walk. What are you doing? Don't you touch me? Uh, This is Craig Henry. He's a really tough guy, but. If someone is trespassing and refuses to leave, how else would a police officer enforce the law to move the criminal? Sometimes you have to lay hands on people to enforce the law. Don't you touch me. Please walk. What are you doing? Okay, thank you. What are you doing? What are you doing? I have security cameras here watching this place. You do not need to be back here filming all this stuff. So what's in there that I shouldn't see? Why don't you talk to the county clerk here? Man, I'm just kind of allowed to do I'm allowed to do whatever I want as long as I'm not breaking the law. Your law enforcement, not feelings enforcement. This is the clerk's office. That's my personal office. I get that. And I'm allowed, as, I mean, if your door is open, I'm allowed to look in it. You could close it if you don't want me to look in it. But Craig Henry is a professional victim. He wallows in his victimhood. What's happening to me in Vermilion County, Indiana, with my felony stalking charge that was applied unlawfully. This judge has imposed a criminal sentence on me. He's basically sentenced me to probation prior to any trial, which goes against the Constitution, but it also goes against morals. They say that they, they accuse me of stalking, but the, and the, the hearing is the part that's criminal, not, um, not anything that I did. For maliciously prosecuting me and illegally arresting me and forcing me to sit in jail. I wanted to talk to you, man. I don't... Don't like to take the time to do written complaints, but uh, okay. your deputy here, and, and it's to your benefit that I'm not doing a written complaint. Your, be, your deputy here um, really was, was getting in my face, getting in my personal area over in this area, past his desk. Now, um, I understand that it says, please wait here for assistance mm-hmm. and all this. I don't, understand, I don't understand how that gives anybody lawful authority to control where I am past here. It, it really doesn't make sense. Now, I want to show you, like, I just, this, please, please wait here for assistance. Stop, please wait here for assistance. Now, if I don't need assistance, I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to kind of look around, and then I'll leave. There, there are certain areas that you can't, okay. you can't go back yeah. behind the desk. Hey, come here. Let's check this out. This is what I wanted to show you. This says, notice employees only beyond this point. That is a little bit more fitting. Now, I'm not advocating that we get signs back there. Sure. I'm, it's not. I'm just advocating that we don't, we don't throw I don't want to be messed with when I'm moving freely in a courthouse. That- okay, so Craig don't want to be messed with in a courthouse, but uh, does Craig have the right to choose the areas he wants to film? The rules about recording inside a federal courthouse are clear. In the Kansas City Courthouse, Rule 83.2.1, photographing, recording, and broadcasting. Except for devices used in connection with official court records, the following are prohibited in the courthouse. One, radio or television broadcast, and two, the use of production or recording equipment that is A, photographic, B, electronic, or C, mechanical. That means no filming inside any part of the federal courthouse building. This prohibition exists in nearly every federal courthouse in America, and it has been repeatedly upheld. One can argue that filming in the public lobby of a federal courthouse should be protected by the First Amendment, but that argument, for now, has not prevailed with federal judges. But this isn't a a federal courthouse, you say. So can a local judge's court order prohibiting filming be enforceable? Um, so we have a signature from Judge Sally Picorni, Division 2, that court right there. This recording inside the Judicial Center is prohibited without prior permission of the court. 
point of this, this does refer to the whole building, including the hallways. At this point, I will ask you to stop your phone, stop your recording. But Craig's going to have to find out for himself. I think restricting movement just kind of arbitrarily seems dangerous because I could have gotten arrested and I told him if he tried to touch me, I would have defended myself and that would have escalated into a very bad situation. Okay, well, when I mean, really there's no reason for it to have done that. I mean, you I, think you, I think you're trying to escalate stuff. I think that's what people well, do. Talk to him. This Talk to him the exact same way I've talked to okay. you. And and I, I, that I is just, what it is. Just so a sign or verbal, I mean, you can be notified several ways that an area is restricted. So and I'm gonna, it doesn't have to be on the side. We can tell you, hey, this, this area is off, off limits no, because... No, no. If, if I'm out on the sidewalk, it's the same as if I'm in here when there's but no I, signs. I, I, I disagree with that because, like I said, you can't just walk into private offices back there. There are clearly areas that are restricted that people just can't go into. There's no there. private offices in the courthouse. I, I disagree with that. Okay. Where is the private office? These random offices back here. This is this is the common area right here. There's this a is the office treasurer's office. office, all right? Sure. It's an elected public official's office. Right. There's right. a public area and there's a private area, yeah. Right. Right. Okay. But in a public area, you can't just arbitrarily say so what so hold on. Notifying me verbally, that would be like saying if you told me verbally that I'm not allowed to be right here, then I'd have to move. No, I'm just going to tell you no, and I'm going to tell you to... You wouldn't do that because this is just a common area. Right. But you did, with all due respect, you did it over there, and that's a common area as well. No, I mean... Like, the clerk's office, the, a public, yes. the main public official's office is right over there, man. Right, and, and still, her right. office in particular is not a public... It is. It is. You have to they, run for it. It's a public you, office. You're elected. The clerk's office in general, there is a public area there. You go in there and get your records. But you, you still don't have free reign to go into the specific. I actually office. believe that I do, unless law prohibits it. Okay. Well, unless law prohibits it, I believe I do. This auditor argument of not allowing local government to control access to all or parts of their building has been settled a long time ago. It's been years since the Supreme Court determined that local government can stop the Craig Henry's free roam theory based on time, place, and manner. And this does not require them to pass a law. You're, you're going to be named personally, though. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I talk mean, like we have a problem. Yeah, we don't have I, I told you last time, I've done okay. numerous of these yeah. cases. I've went to federal court, I've testified. Okay. I've had three people sue me. They all lost. So I'm, well, I'm no, that, 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 was, that was federal court. This, was federal this, court. this is state court that I'm talking about. And you about. can go right ahead, sir. Um, let you know the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals has also enacted a no-filming policy enti entirely in their courthouse mm -hmm. and has allowed other courts to yeah. follow suit. But, but again, you're talking federal courthouses, not state courthouses, and state course, courthouses are regulated by the Supreme Court of the and state the, of Nevada. And, the, and when I handed you that document, the Supreme Court has said, the Nevada Supreme Court has said that this is not a public forum, and that judges can exercise restriction on First Amendment rights inside this courthouse. So back at Hendry's uh, County Courthouse, our auditor learns that a judge's policy order has every bit the authority as a law. That's, that's not restricted. That's what we're doing by verbally telling you. No, you're not. You're just bullying me in public. You don't understand that. <laughs> that I, I, is the thing. We can agree to disagree. You can't just you verbally I mean. tell somebody what to do and then they snap that you have to do it. No. Okay. Again, it's like can, me telling we, you we can to. Agree to disagree. I mean, well, it is what it is. Go ahead and just tell me to do something and I'll refuse it and then like, you can arrest like me. For but if you want to go to the second floor, I would be more than happy if you're willing to sign in. What? What? I Well, I uh, we're doing that sign in thing. Hold on. Where's the captain? At this point in the video, I go into the clerk's office to request the court order that would prohibit us from entering the second floor without forfeiting our Fourth Amendment right and signing in. We ultimately go upstairs and request the order in writing. Unfortunately, the judge gets wind that we are in the courthouse with recording devices and in an anti-transparency move has us kicked out. From, you guys want to copy this? Wouldn't mind it. It's from the, it's the Supreme Court policy from the Illinois Supreme Court. So you want to check that out, read it. It goes into ways that the judge of the, get out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, the judge of the courthouse, any given courthouse. So this case would be Judge Ray Vaughn. He's a resident circuit judge for Richmond County. Yeah. They can essentially set up their own rules regarding recordings in a courthouse. And so and where, where did you look for that he information? He says sir? that you can't have recording in the courtroom. In the courthouse, I'm going to ask you to leave or turn off the recording equipment. And uh, if you don't, then you'll be arrested for uh, disobeying a uh, order by a peace officer. So, yeah. 
That wouldn't really be very peaceful, would it, if you arrested me for not doing That's anything? That's just the words they use in the, in the, in the Right, but it wouldn't statutes. be right if you kidnapped me for not doing anything to anybody. I, I wouldn't see it and that hurt. Way. Yeah. Well, I, I don't would think I that cause would, damage I don't think that would be a, a, a violation of the kidnapping statute. It amazes me that we continue to fight a fight that's already been decided. A local judge's court order may not be a law, but it is binding. So here are some snippets of other auditors' failure to follow a local judge's court order. They arrested me because I went in to the courthouse and um, I was filming, of course, and I got to... I got to security, and they said, you can't film in here. And um, I said, no, I can't. That's not true. It's a, it's a constitutionally protected activity. It's First Amendment right, blah, blah, blah. Well, she goes and gets three more police officers and comes back and tells me to turn my phone off, that they're going to, I have to delete my footage, and they arrested me. So, I'm sorry. I'm so upset. I just... I've been arrested in like 20 years. They showed me an administrative order. That's what they arrested me over. A judge's administrative order. So we'll conclude with the Dean of Anarchy, the Long Island Auditor. Now the officer who boots Sean out of the courthouse has this wicked smile at the conclusion of exiting stage right. We need a citizen's review on this order apparently from the judge I don't understand why judges have so much power I'm Deputy Pilot Cruz will hire you today hey how are you good I have two options for you mm -hmm. this signed order basically says and the judge just told me on body camera she wants you removed she, okay? I need to be removed from the courthouse yes so you have two options yep you may leave you're free to go or we arrest you for interference can I ask you a couple questions nope you're free to go. Turn around and you can use that exit there to leave. That smile <laughs> says it all. John Legato's show is being broadcast from outside the gates of Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune in beautiful North Carolina. If you like the show, uh, hit share, hit like. Semper Fidelis.